Ellen and I, we met our first semester at the medical school in Oslo in Norway. And we both were engaged in this sexual education uh, group who traveled around in uh, junior high schools uh, for teenagers talking about sexual education, uh, puberty. Um, and it was uh, the most important part of uh, our med school experience for both of us. And that uh, led us into uh, starting a blog together, which was called um, Underlivet, which means kind of la vie d'en bas. Um, and uh, it became a, a huge success in Norway. We had almost 300,000 readers a month. Uh, and people, we were writing about uh, sex uh, in a scientific and accessible way. So we would take like stories about Justin Bieber's penis size and write about the recent article on, on the penis sizes. Uh, and so that was kind of the way we uh, approached it. And then afterward we, uh, we were asked to write a book that turned into be uh, Le Joie d'Amba, uh, which came out in, here in France uh, as well. And then, but I mean, what caused us to write uh, Le Joie d'Amba was that we, uh, we, uh, we were both uh, teaching uh, sexual education in school and we had girlfriends uh, and they all had so many questions and we saw that the questions that the teenagers had and the questions that our friends who were in their 20s had, they were quite similar. And uh, so Le Joie d'en bas was an answer to that. We wanted our friends to have uh, updated, uh, proper scientific information at hand. But at the same time, what was always our goal was that uh, we felt like women deserved to know these things. And we thought it was a shame that women uh, or had to wait until they were in their 20s to learn these things. We want them to have this information from they are young, uh, from their, uh, you know, hitting puberty for the first time. So in a sense, I think uh, the book that's now coming out in France, Cool Girls, um, La puberté en mode confiance, yeah? Uh, is, um, is uh, what we really wanted to do all along, uh, to give girls, you know, a good, um, to have all the proper information from the outset instead of having to come uh, afterwards and correct all the mistakes uh, that they've grown up with. For us, it was obvious that writing a book for young girls was the right thing to do because it's the project, it's, it's much more important than Le Joie d'en bas because uh, then you are already an empowered woman. You've gone out and you've bought that book for yourself. But now this is, you know, reaching young girls in libraries and people are perhaps reading it in school and, um, and they can, it can shape them. You know, we hope that we can shape them for the future and make them into strong, independent, uh, um, safe girls.